Yo, if you haven't already heard advertising for a Martens gel, you probably will soon. They're a company that produces something they call a hydro gel. It comes in a packet, a lot like a traditional gel that we use for endurance workouts, but they make the claim that their hydro gel allows you to absorb much more carbohydrates in the same amount of time than a typical gel, despite the fact that research did not support this. Now, a new study just came out where there is some evidence that the Martens gel allows you to absorb the same amount of carbohydrates with a lower incidence of GI stress. So let's take a look at the new study versus the old studies and see if a Martens gel is really worth the heavy price tag. So to my left are five studies, and for the sake of time, I'm just gonna sum all these up. You can look them up individually if you want to, but in effect, they all follow a very similar protocol. You have a group of fairly well-trained cyclists or runners completing an hour to two hours of endurance exercise, followed by some maximal effort. In one round, they're giving the Mar given the Martens gel in quantities of about 90 grams of carbohydrates, which is like 360 calories from carbohydrates, and they all do their test. And then they come back and they get the traditional mixture, something like uh, a goo gel with maltodextrin and fructose in the same ratios as the Martens, and they do their test. And then they do a test without any carbohydrate intake. And all five of these studies showed basically the same thing, that Martens and the carbohydrate mixture improved performance versus just water, and that Martens didn't seem to decrease the GI distress or the reported GI distress uh, versus the traditional carbohydrate mixture or water, which is important because in the new study here, people did report a slightly lower incidence of GI distress using the, using the Martens versus the traditional carbohydrate mixture. So what changed between the previous five tests and this new one to show a lower incidence of GI distress with the Martens than with a normal carbohydrate mixture? Well, the test got harder. These athletes were all runners. The protocol was entirely running, which we already know is more likely to induce GI distress than a protocol that is exclusively cycling. They completed two hours of running at a higher percentage of VO2 max than any of the other tests, and they finished it off with a 5K running time trial. Quite a strenuous day. So what do we make of the results? Does Martens work? This is a tricky one because it's a solid maybe. And as endurance athletes continue to push the limit of carbohydrate intake, 400, 500, 600 calories an hour from carbs, I think we need a study or another study of elite endurance athletes really ramp up the amount of carbs per hour, ramp up the intensity, and see what happens to see that difference. Because right now we've got five studies at a moderate intensity, what pretty much anyone watching this video would work out at, showing no better carbohydrate absorption and no lower incidence of stomach distress. And we've got one study with a pretty difficult protocol that does show a little bit of a difference in performance and a little lower incidence of carbohydrate distress with the Martens gel. So this is one you really have to decide for yourself. Is it worth the extra price tag for the Martens or are you better off saving your money and using a more traditional mixture?